Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. Today I'm going to do a little bit of a different video. This is kind of in preparation for like my Halloween stuff that I'm going to be doing soon. But I wanted to do a video with the Scarecrow Vampire Fangs and kind of like show you how to do it because they're one of those um <clears throat> like custom ones so like you custom mold them to your teeth so I figured having oh I have like a piece of weird hair okay so I figured having a video out there would make it a little easier and I do plan to do some kind of like vampire look eventually so if you wanted to recreate it you know you could watch this but um, I know there's instructions that come with these kind of things, but sometimes I feel like watching somebody do it kind of helps out more. So yeah, if you would like to see how to do this, then keep on watching. Okay, so first off, I'm going to read a little bit of the information on the back to you guys. So I got these small, sexy... <laughs> Um, deluxe vampire fangs, so they're the small ones. There's bigger ones too. And I got these at Spirit Halloween. They were $19.99. And on the back it says, easy to use and reusable, mix fit wear, everything included. Fit your fangs on the spot once for years of use. Realistic custom snap fit fangs clip on and off easily, no adhesive, no adhesive required. And the small ones that I have here are designed for people with smaller teeth or those looking for a subtler look. They can fit, fit, oh god, I honestly can, I have like a problem with speaking, but anyways, they may fit either canines and or both bottom teeth, so, there's also like a list of precautions, blah blah blah, but I'm going to be putting them on the canine teeth, so these ones right here. So I'm gonna get this open and we'll see how to do this and how easy it actually is. Okay, so it comes in this like little coffin case thing. So when you open it up, the things are right here. Whoop, I just lost one, but yeah. I'll pick that up in a second. But these are the fangs right here. So you can take those out, and then underneath is where everything else is. If I can get this like foam part off. Okay. So this is all the stuff you need to make the fangs and the instructions I kind of ripped or cut when I um, opened it but I have both pieces so I'll kind of put them together so let's get started. Okay, so I'm I don't know how well I'm going to be able to show you this, but I take one of these capsules, which I just dropped, and I don't know where it went. I got it, don't worry. Okay. Alright, so I'm not going to really be able to show you this because I don't have a tripod at the moment because it broke, but you're just going to take one of these capsules, and you're just going to kind of, just so I can figure this out. Break it. And get all the powder 
inside the little case thing that came with okay there you go sorry guys that my hands are like all up in the way <laughs> um I don't really have any other better way to do this but okay so the powder is in the little thing you want to tilt the case it said to get all the powder to one side and then you're supposed to I believe do four drops of this stuff let me double check because I don't want to do something wrong um, dun -dun 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 -dun. squeeze four drops of the powder stir it okay all right, so I'm gonna open this. And you're going to squeeze four drops and mix it for about a minute or so. So one, two, three, four, there you go. And use the wide end of the stick and I'm gonna mix it okay so now I'm supposed to take the fang and scoop this stuff out and kind of fit it onto the wall of the fangs. You don't want to put it like deep in there. Just want to put it kind of at the edges almost. I guess. I don't know. This is kind of a not difficult, but like not the easiest thing I've ever done. So you want to scoop all of it out. Apply it. Okay, and now I'm supposed to press it on my tooth and wait for about five minutes. Um, yeah, it's gonna be kind of difficult. You have to keep your mouth open for five minutes twice. So, see how this goes. Guys, I hate this. It's like, I'm generally back so I don't drill. But, uh, this is kind of annoying, but, you know, whatever. It's getting a long five minutes. Okay, I just did the first one. I don't know if I did it right, but it does say you could, um, add more to fix it because they give you extra capsules. So I'm going to go do the second one and then I'll be back again. Okay guys, so I may like talk with a little bit of a lisp and that's because I'm not used to having something in my mouth like this, but um, this is weird. I did both sides, I did the five minutes, the five minutes, and now it suggests, I can't take how I'm talking, um, now it suggests that you leave it on for another... 10 or 15 minutes or so to kind of give it more time to set so that's what I'm going to do and you know that's when it's really gonna hurt and I ended up redoing the first one I did because I didn't like the way it went on I felt like it didn't fit my teeth very well but yeah um it's not too complicated make sure you really get it on there and like really hold it on your teeth the hard part is um trying not to drool good luck with that but yeah so I'm gonna go hang out for like 10 15 minutes uh, watch some videos I don't know and then I will be back to show you how to take them off and give you my final thoughts and then yeah so I'll see you guys in a bit
Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes. Um, my speaking has gotten a little bit better. But, yeah. And I realized when I was um, going through editing this, I didn't explain it too much. Um, I sped through a lot of the reading because it was too much. But all you do is you break the capsule, you kind of tilt it to one side, you put about four drops in, and you mix it for like 30 seconds. You place it on your tooth, and then... You have to kind of hold it and press it for like a minute or so. And then you just kind of leave it there for five minutes. And then you go on and do the other one. And then what I just did was leave it on for the extra like 10-15 minutes. So it really settles. And once I take them out, they continue to settle, I believe it said, for 24 hours. So if you're planning on doing this, don't do it the day of Halloween. Do it if beforehand, like a few days. Uh just so they're ready. But yeah, I think they look really cool. But anyways, um, now to remove them, it says gently push your lower teeth forward against the back side of the fang tips until you hear a slight click. Then grip up and around the top of the fang and edge of the molding material so you don't pull the cap off with it. Wiggle and gently pull from the top until they loosen up. Your fangs will now clip on and off easily, yet fit snug. And then the excess on the back is good. You don't really want to trim anything off unless there's some on the front. So you kind of want to leave the extra on the back and on the sides. Because as you can see, it kind of makes it look a little more natural. So I'm going to try to take them off now and see how easy that is. Okay, so I got them off. It was a little bit of a struggle, but it's a good thing because you kind of want it to stay put. But um, this is what they look like, and they should be able to pop in and out easily, so I'm going to try that out real quick. And that's cute. Okay, so they click back in very easily. Uh, you just have to make sure you put it in the same spot you have them in. Um, it is a little foreign having something in your mouth, but they're pretty comfortable. And you can talk easily, and I don't feel like, you know, they're going to fall off at all anytime soon. And they'll probably last you for the night. So, yeah. So, yeah, obviously I'm going to do a vampire look soon. But, um, if there's anything specific you guys want to see me do... Let me know down below, and I will do them. Um, I have some ideas already, but I want to get as many Halloween videos up as I can this year. So you guys let me know. So yeah, if you guys like this video, and you're excited for Halloween and all the Halloween videos, give it a thumbs up. If you're new and you haven't already, you can click that subscribe button down below so you can see all the new Halloween stuff that's going to be coming out. Because this is my favorite time of the year, and... I'm excited that I'm finally going to be able to do Halloween videos like I might have mentioned in another video. Um, I used to do them all the time, but I privated a lot of them. And that is it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.